Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. You know, these four days are some of my favorite of the entire year. I think that they are some of the most important for our business. My team and I really look forward to the opportunity uh, at Mike Red Solutions Conference to roll up our sleeves and to work with each and every one of you not only to help you become better practitioners and users of MicroEd software, not only to show you and highlight for you and inform you about all of the great things happening with the company, but probably most importantly, to work with you to facilitate conversations with your colleagues and with your peers and with experts in the industry to help you bring back to your organizations things that will make them more impactful, more successful, more uh, meaningful agents of change. And I will tell you this, we come away with a ton of information as well about how to be a better partner to you. Because we learn from you what we're doing well, we learn from you where we need to focus our energies, we learn a great deal about how to make our business a better one. And I can assure you that at the end of every conference, we come back with sort of a load of ideas, and it really is energizing for, for the members of the MicroEdge team. Now this morning starts the official, uh, the official portion of the conference, but a number of members of my team and a number of you actually showed up early yesterday to work on, uh, to work on learning the products even better, to understanding more and more how to make your MicroEdge solution um, more impactful for you and more impactful for your organization. And I want to thank all of the members of the MicroEdge team that came in on Saturday night and set up and put in the hours and the energy to make these sessions successful. And I especially want to thank you, the clients who attended, because the tools and the programs that you have available are only as impactful and as, as good as your ability to use them. And so that's going to be a real focus at this conference, and I hope that you take advantage. We brought almost 50 people from MicroEdge, more people, or 50 people from MicroEdge here to make sure that at no time was an attendee at the conference not able to get help or get an answer for something that they need. And there are 22% more of you here this year than last year in San Diego, so we're really excited about the growth of the conference. The other thing that really motivates our team to do our best every day are the tremendous organizations that you all work for. And I know that you saw as you came up the stairs a number of these posters. Uh, poor Jeff, I know. <laughs> it's like uh, nothing like eating breakfast uh, 12 feet away from a 10-foot cutout of yourself, a photo of yourself. <laughs> but if you're a handsome guy like Jeffrey Hand, it's OK. Uh, it's harder for some of us than for, than for others. But uh, if you haven't had a chance, if you haven't had a chance to read through these stories, they're terrific. And I think they're terrific in a couple of ways. First of all, they highlight what a talented group of people we have in this industry and what an interesting group of organizations that we serve. Um, at the same time, I think what's great about these stories is they will sound very familiar to you. They will sound like your stories. They will sound like the stories of your colleagues back at your office. And I would encourage you to take a moment while you're at this conference and share your story back with us. The team put on the table um, a little bit of uh, a, a, a piece of paper that helps you see and write down sort of what it is about your work at your organization that inspires you to get up and do your best every day. Share that back with us. Fill it out. Drop it in registration. You may get to be, uh, you may get to be on a 12-foot uh, cutout at conferences, trade shows, Facebook, and a website. Um, but we really do appreciate that. We appreciate um, all of the folks that have shared their story. We appreciate Debbie and we appreciate Jeff. Greatly appreciate Candy and, and her terrific story about what they're doing at um, the Turner Foundation to, to sort of to, to really drive environmental change. And Stephanie and her work at Kansas City and the way that they engage the smallest of donors to the largest in donors in philanthropy and how by doing so they've created a more than one billion dollars in asset community foundation um, in Kansas City. We, we, we appreciate Ed Reed, not the hard-hitting safety of the Baltimore Ravens, but the hard-charging IT professional at the, at the Hogue Foundation at the University of Texas in Austin and the work that they do to, to help those that have mental challenges. And Erica, and the work that she does preserving the legacy at Crown Philanthropies. 
And of course, Michael Murphy. And um, you know, I was with dinner last night with a lot of the folks from Oklahoma, and I'm, I'm just so impressed with the sort of spirit of philanthropy that lives in that state and the, both the corporate organizations, the private organizations, and the community organizations. And Mike's work at the largest of the community foundations there is really impressive. And I'm always, uh, Heather and the work that she does at the Arts and Science Council in North Carolina, these stories are terrific. And of course, for those of you who were here last year in San Diego, you got to see uh, Michael and Jay. I think their photos were actually up on the building across from our hotel, uh, which is a lot of fun. And the work that, they, that, uh, that Michael does at the ASPCA on, behalf of, on the behalf of animals and the work that, that, that um, Jay does with Toyota, it's really, really impressive. And, it, and it's so inspiring to us to read the stories of your organizations. I know I was out in Phoenix and had a chance to visit with Gary Romero, and he sent me a, a, a book back on the Virginia Piper biography, the, the woman who started their foundation. It's fascinating. So we feel very fortunate, very fortunate to work with all of you all and take very seriously our commitment to make that uh, experience that you have with us better all the time. So... I'm very pleased that this slide is way too wordy and way too uh, dense because it's a quick summary of some of the things that we've done since the last conference, right? The stories and the energy that, that you all bring is what motivates us to just push and charge each and every day. So a few of the highlights about 2012, we won't spend a lot of time on that. This is more about a forward-looking forward uh, view, but I think it's very important to take a moment because these are the thing, these things are the things that put into context where we're going next. So one of the things that occurred since last year's conference is we acquired the Angel Points business. So for our corporate clients, and there are nearly a hundred of you here at this conference, over 400 of you entirely in our, in the MicroEdge, part of the MicroEdge client base, we acquired a business called Angel Points, which as you know is one of, is the premier volunteer employee matching and corporate sustainability platform on the planet. We're very excited about what Angel Points was at time of acquisition. We're more excited about what it will be over the next, over the next year or two. And already this year, we've built and invested in a team of people who know that business, who are passionate about that platform, who know our clients and are learning every day about what you need. And very similar to what we've done with gifts and iGAM and other elements of the platform, we're pulling that forward with Angel Points. We had seven releases of that product this year, frankly, each one was relatively small, but they're getting faster and bigger, and I'm very excited to share with our corporate clients and our Angel Points clients what we'll be doing with that product over the next 12 months. We take our core platforms incredibly, we recognize that the power of what you do is all driven by that core platform. We take very seriously the work and the, and the requirement that we continue to move those forward. And so when you see releases like FIMS 12.8, which we'll be going into depth with you here at the conference, it's a terrific release, really driven by a lot of the feedback that you as users gave us on the product. The Gifts Plus Pack, a powerful tool, and oftentimes an underutilized one, is an important part. Um, it is the most used and the most um, held module or add-on in the Gifts family. Made a significant advancement in that this spring with the 5.2. Gifts Online, is the, one of the fastest growing product platforms, certainly in MicroEdge's history and in the industry. And every quarter, significant improvements and enhancements are coming to that product to make it better, to make it more robust, while at the same time focusing on making it easier to use. And Donor Central and the CRM, donor management and donor engagement is a critical conversation occurring right now with our community foundations, and we continue to put energy and effort into moving those platforms forward. So, a, so a, solid, a solid work in 2012 so far on the product side. We also recognize that having the product is only half of the equation. That client experience and your experience with the product is also key. We had over, have had already this year over 49 user groups with over 850 people attending regional sessions. The objective there was to help you know what's going on with our product, 
to allow you to share with one another what's ha what, what is working for you, and frankly, to give us candid feedback about areas of our business where we can improve. And that feedback is definitely being taken into account as we roll out not only new programs, but, but work one-on-one -on -one with members of our team to ensure that they understand what needs to be done and how to make sure that you have the best experience possible. We've worked hard on the website. Kathy Crace and her team, who not only host this conference uh, and do the uh, a lion's share of the work of all you're about to see here over the next couple of days, but have worked very, very hard with our services and training professionals to ensure that our website and our materials are easy to find, are engaging. We've had over 1,100 clients uh, locate and take free classes and free training programs through our website this year, so we're very pleased. That's almost 50, uh, right at 50%. So we continue to work on these, on these things. We've added additional support staff. We, are, we have uh, worked through processes we are, and the like. So we're working hard all the time to focus on product and focus on client experience. So great. It's good. Nice progress. But we're here today and over the next few days to talk a lot about what's next. And I am as excited about the next 12 months for this business and our relationship and ability to support you than I have been in, the, in any of the time since I've been here. And the focus, as it almost always will be, is going to be a focus on significant product advancements and improvements in the client experience. Because as much progress as we have made over the past 12 to 24 months, there is a lot of work still to do. We still have to make sure that when your support tickets go from support to R&D that we do a better job of circling back and, and, and communicating with you and keeping that dialogue going. We recognize that not all of the products do all of the things that your organization needs and that the people that you support require of you. We know these things, we hear these things from you, we'll, our list will grow over the next three months, but we will really focus on making sure that we move forward. And I think the thing that I'm the most excited about and what makes me confident about 2013 or, or my ability to, to have a, a nice list of things to share with you at, at next year's conference is that not only do we go down and check the box in terms of, well, here's an update on this product and here's a, an initiative on this element, but we took the time as you do and as you know it must be done to build the infrastructure and to build the team and to build the skills to really create a platform to allow that kind of change to move forward at an accelerated pace and on a regular basis. So I want to highlight for you here a few of the things that you'll be seeing from your MicroEdge products over the next 12 months. Many of these are things that you will see here at the conference. So these aren't just ideas, these are things that the team has built or is building that we will share with you and that we will take your feedback on. Now I will say that one of the great things about the MicroEdge business is that we support a wide range of giving organizations with a wide range of platforms. I think ultimately that creates an enormous amount of power. It also though means that some of these advancements will come to this platform first and to that platform next, right? But work with us and, and talk through us. Phoebe Jewett and the team will be taking you through the product roadmap sessions. You're welcome to join those. But I want you to think about the product that you use today, and I want you to think about the types of things that I'm about to show you and apply those to your product, because whether it's coming to your particular platform in two months or 12 months, these are the types of things that, that we have invested and we have the type of organization and can be the type of partner to you to, to develop. So first of all, imagine your products more configurable. This is the GIFS Alta where these particular capabilities will come. Lots of power, but imagine if as a non-programmer you were able to move and configure and edit not just your dashboards, but every part of the product every edit page, every workspace, and do it by group, do it by user, do it in a way that reflects the way that you and your team use the product. And we recognize that as we go out and talk to you, whether you're a GIFS Alta user or a GIFS Online user or, or any others, that these are things that matter to you and that are important. We also recognize that your technology platforms are growing and that the ability to integrate your micro-edge solutions with other solutions are incredibly important, right? And the ability to 
take pieces, for instance, from your dashboard and move them seamlessly into SharePoints, into your web pages, into your intranets. It's critical. Gifts Online 3.3 takes the first solid steps in that direction, and we will continue to see more and more of that capability broadly in your products because we recognize that that's an important need that you have. Mobile, right? So um, it, wasn't, it wasn't too long ago that you had to take your laptop everywhere. Uh, I have uh, daughters in the, in the high school range. You know, they don't have a laptop. They hardly use the computer, right? They use this. And I hear from you that your board members and your program staff and your employees and the like are using their phones and their iPads and their tablets in interesting ways. This is a shot from our Donor Central. Do I think that people will be um, leverage, doing uh, detailed FIMS fund accounting work on their, on their smartphone? Probably not in the near future. But do I think that your donors, your program staff, your executives will want to have access to key elements of your information infrastructure, key elements that are housed in your Angel Points, FIMS, or GIFTS platform? Yes, we do. And you see here at Donor Central, Donor Central Mobile, which will be one of the very first places that we apply these capabilities. And just more advanced. I think that if I look at where we advanced over the first, over the last 12 months with things like IGAM 5 and Donor Central 3, a lot of that was on the user interface, the ability of a user of a microedge tool to come in and find that experience more intuitive, right? Whether that was a grantee filling out an application or a program officer trying to get some information out of gifts, uh, that has been a, a significant part of the focus. If I look at what's coming next, we'll continue to work on user interface, but we'll also want to make sure that the back end of the tools are easier to use and that are more powerful. This is a shot from uh, the, the plan, a planned upgrade to iGAM, which expands significantly the ability for you and your grantees to communicate in a portal that's robust and that's meaningful and that allows multiple people to collaborate at a time. We will be, we'll be highlighting at this conference GIFTS Online version 4.0. We're very excited about that. It's a significant step forward for that platform, and it will, it will absolutely uh, make that Gifts Online experience more robust, but also simpler, easier, more powerful, and more personalized than ever before. And it looks very nice, thanks to our, uh, to our photographer friend, Carlo Blackmore, here to, uh, to my right. The last area that I wanted to talk about for a moment is one that we've, we've not addressed in the last two years, but that you will begin to see addressed in 2013, and that's better integration. Leveraging the power of the various microedge platforms to work more cohesively together in order to really allow the benefit of those platforms to be felt not only by people processing grants or moving through fund statements, but by your broader organization as part of your collective information architecture. A number of you do that incredibly well today. Our job is to make it easier for all of you so that those of you who are just getting there can do so more simply, and for those of you who are already there can extend that capability greater. So some, a few examples of the things that we'll be talking about at this conference. Our FIMS clients consistently tell us that they need more powerful grants management, more powerful review capabilities, more powerful data management that's built for people that are not in the financial, uh, financial world. Gifts Online is absolutely the possibility to be that tool, and the ability of Gifts Online to work closely with FIMS creates a really robust and unique set of capabilities for our Community Foundation clients. With Angel Points, we're really doing two things, right? First, build that strong foundation, build that team. But ultimately, we envision a world where our corporate clients will be able to look at their foundation giving, their employee volunteering, their employee uh, sustainability activities, and their employee giving, and see that in one consolidated view, one way of, of determining how their organization is impacting the world and how their organization is giving back and to be able to communicate that and improve that. It's not there today, but this is absolutely where we're going and where we're moving to and we'll talk more about that at this conference. 
And then our donor management tools. We're incredibly excited about Kimbia and FemCRM and, uh, and uh, Donor Central. But we recognize that those, your program staff and development officers can do, a, can do even more if those systems work together more closely. And what's interesting about all this is, is this, these types of changes and these types of activities are being driven by really two things. First and foremost is the feedback from you. The experience that we have, whether it's logging a support ticket, posting an idea or an enhancement in the Power Me portal, or just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a member of your support services, account representative, or executive team. The other place that these ideas are coming from is the industry writ large. Right? We cannot sit inside of the silo of MicroEdge or the silo of the philanthropic space and think that we have all the answers. We have to look broadly and understand from a technology perspective what's occurring in the broader world and then apply that to our products and apply that to the services and the things that we deliver to you, our clients. So I actually thought we would do something. First of all, when I saw that you all were scheduled for an hour of me straight at 8 a.m. East Coast time on a Monday, I thought, wow, that's mean. But, um, um, but the other thing is I, I actually wanted to take a moment and introduce a member of my staff, um, member of my staff, Benny Melumad, our chief technology officer. He's been with MicroEdge for 16 years. He and his team, along with Phoebe Jewett and Annie Rose and Andrew Troop, are the folks that have been driving forward. And I wanted to give, you, give Benny a moment to talk to you about something that he's seeing very specifically in the industry and how it's impacting our product development strategy. And then I'll come back and circle through sort of where we're taking that with the conference. So with that, Benny, I'll turn it to you.